What's up, guys? My name is Alex, also known as Mad Panel 503. And look what I have done! Oh my, God. I've done so, so much in my world, and it looks fucking fantastic. So yeah, I built a huge bridge. I'm gonna make like a wall of China thing around my whole area. So uh, yeah, let's. And this video is gonna be a tour video. I guess of what I've done outside my main house because the majority of these Minecraft adventure videos have been inside my palace I guess but anyway that was drummers area over there uh, that he built and yeah let's just fly quick and, or you know hurry things up here so I'm gonna go through my main house here and this is where everything started I guess I mean I've, I just saw episode one of my Minecraft series and holy shit everything's changed so much and look how gorgeous this whole Chinese Asian -y themed I guess look I mean air, this just looks phenomenal in my opinion there's one of the houses that I built in an episode and then this one I built uh, with drummer and he was featured in that episode but he was working on his own thing I believe we talked about Pokemon in that episode which is kind of funny <laughs> we discovered that uh, they were still make creating Pokemon character creature things so that was crazy and I'm just gonna give a brief tour, I guess. I mean, not really brief for you guys because it's a 20-some minute long video. I'm guessing this is gonna be, but uh, it's it's crazy. So I'm gonna try and do my best to show you my favorite things about my world, I guess. So this is one of the mining houses. So all the houses that you see in the village area, none of them are the same. They might be the same size, some of them, but inside the house, none of them are the same, which I thought was awesome or and trying to do and there's a little hidden chest there and yeah this is gonna be a mining area let's just fly back upstairs um yeah man <laughs> i'm so used to doing call of duty videos guys i'm not used to doing live commentaries here um i mean oh my god i'm just mind blown how much i've done i mean it's a huge thing and i'm still building let's go into this house here so some of the houses are pretty big like this one's pretty big um I don't want them to be any of the houses as big as my house, I guess. I want my house to be the biggest. <laughs> so this one's designed like this, I guess. I don't know. I just go with the flow whenever I build a house. Get the frame or all the, the structure together, I guess. And I want it to be different. Whenever I start building inside the house, I want it, I just think of some random and then go with it, I guess. So, And, of course, I'm sure you guys... I mean, <laughs> some of you that visited my world already already have gotten lost in my house I mean let alone look at this place I'm sure you get lost here and I'm building this bridge over here trying to extend this whole area I guess I have a few houses here don't know where this path is gonna go but um some of the houses are very unique like some of the bigger ones like this one have kitchens and all that I try and have a bedroom potion room crafting room all that in every house unless it's a mining house of course what the hell happened there got stuck on the door and some of them have three levels, some of them have five levels, some of them only have two levels, so they're all different. And this one has a little bedroom with a little stereo speaker thing, a little couch for reading. I like using the enchantment tables as if they're like coffee tables with books or whatever. I haven't even done anything up there, but... And then every house, I think, or almost every big house has a kitchen of some sort with a fridge. I love that fridge. I still use it. A uh, long time ago, uh, when I first started doing these videos, or maybe in the middle, I forget which episode, but I teach you guys how to make a working, functional fridge for Minecraft. And here's one of the houses, one of the fancier ones I built uh, earlier on. And I've also done a lot with the land, of course. So a lot of the land that I did, I worked around it, but I also kind of fixed things up, make sure it looked pretty good. So, And I also, if I ever want to try and survive, I guess, in this world, with creatures and all that because I do like doing creative mode in this world and yeah I mean look at that creeper right there on the cliff awesome so I want it to be functional I guess in survival as well in case you guys ever want to come visit here and do that but I am planning on doing a survival world with some people and some subscribers so keep an eye for that I'm just trying to find time see when I can do that and yeah let's go to the second biggest house in my world as of right now which is right here because some of you guys wanted me to show you the redstone of my little fire pit that's in my chest room in my main house. So I did another one here and left it exposed for you guys to check out. And if you guys want me to do a full on tutorial, I guess, uh, I will definitely be glad to do my design here. So 
I'm proud to present this was my design that I know of. And well, I have a little hidden door here because I have also this little design. Let's just fix that. I'm using dispensers with some items like right there, swords. You press the button. I'm sure you've all seen this. And then a sword will come out. And yeah. So, but of course it won't land all the way down there because there will be flooring. But I wanted to keep this exposed for you guys to check out. And yeah, if you want me to do a tutorial on this lava pit so you can dispose of any items that you don't need, I guess. That was my main goal for it. Um, hit me up in the comment section below and let's just put some bricks around this area. And of course, this is just a little thing, but it will all be covered. You won't see any of the wiring and all that. So if you want to see a tutorial... Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or in the comment section of this video. And then you can just toss your shit in there, and you're done with it. Wait a second, that looks completely wrong. Hold on. I think I had, yeah, stairs. That's that's it. I had stairs on it, so that, yeah, that didn't look right there. So let's just put some stairs here. Some stairs here. Wait. Knock that off. Knock that off. Da, 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 all right, that looks better. So, yeah, there's the pit. Here's the wiring from. I'm sure you can figure that out. But, yeah, tutorial will be coming out if you guys want it on my lava pit for storage rooms, getting rid of items, all that, yada, yada, yada. So, I hope you enjoyed that. But, anyway, this is my second biggest house in my world so far. And let's just go upstairs. I don't, I forget how many layers or levels it has, but two identical bedrooms here. Little deck storage area where you can see. And yeah, I just like designing these in Minecraft. They're so much fun. <laughs> I mean, all of a sudden, like hours have gone by and I was like, holy crap, look what I've done. So I don't record absolutely everything because I would, I mean, I'd be at, I think, 500 videos if I had, if not more. So uh, I don't record absolutely everything, but I'd like to keep you guys up to date and maybe show you guys some things that uh, I will build, I guess so. Then, of course, in this video, I'm just showing you guys what I've done, and oh my god, look at that freaking view. So gorgeous. I love Minecraft. It's so peaceful. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> the music drives me a little crazy. But, uh, apparently, texture packs are coming soon, guys. For the X I'm playing Xbox, of course. Um, so, I I'm wondering, guys, uh, if you guys know anything about the texture packs, I mean, tell me something about them. I want to buy one, of course, if they're for sale. I, mean, I doubt they'd be free, but I want to get a texture pack when they come out. And let's go to this house here. Uh, this was my first house with an underwater room. So I built it in the middle of this lake. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a little bedroom crafting area. I think I have another one. I'll have to go find it. Another underwater area room thing in the house. So uh, yeah, let's just leave this. But oh my god. I mean, I can't. I, I, I just. One night I was just watching episode 1 through 10, I think. And. Uh, I mean, back then, you know, we didn't have creative mode on the Xbox 360, so... I mean, it's just crazy how much faster I'm moving along with creative mode and how much better I've gotten at Minecraft, I guess. So. And then here's forest number one, I guess. And I have a mining area right here. And, oh, wow, the vines grew over the thing. But uh, this one's not my... You know, it's not the best mine. I'm still working on it. I think I have three mines, so this is the second one that you've seen. And on this area, just the crafting area for whenever you come out from the mines and this mining thing. I'm going to have ladders down here. And you will climb down there, but uh, I'll show you my main mine. Main mine, main mine. That's a ton twister. Um, my main one where I will do the digging for diamonds, all that area. I'll show you that one soon. But here's the little dock here for boats. And. Yeah, and you can see some other fancy big houses over here. Let's go over here. Let's check out one of them. Which one? Uh, this one. It's closer. I'm lazy. Whatever. So, uh, here's a really big house here. Downstairs area, of course. I think this one, yes, this one does have an enchantment area. And this one has a little chest under here. Just extra chests. And, yeah, pretty standard uh, for a basement in my world. Uh, up kitchen, living room area. Um, upstairs are more bedrooms, I believe. Uh, yeah, two twin identical bedrooms. And then upstairs, dining area uh, is up here. So, uh, yeah, I just I love how different all the houses are inside. That's what I really wanted to go for. And so far, so good. Um, I mean, look at this bridge. Or 
I don't know, bridge thing. It's awesome. But I have a little secret thing here. Let's see if you guys will be able to even see it in the video. It's kind of dark here. I might have to add glowstone or something here. A little lever for a little hidden chest, which has nothing in it. So, let's close that. Let's get out of here. Um, what else should we check out? Huh. Um, why not? Um, this house is pretty much the same. Let's go on this walkway here. The second foresty area, I guess. So, I mean, a lot has changed, too. And then you come over the mountains here, and you can go down here. I haven't done anything on those signs there, but uh, this is uh, my slime farm area. So, I'm... Uh, it's not that big yet, but it's getting there. Um, that's the beach area. And yeah, I'm working on over here, guys. I don't know, really know why I want to design over here, but maybe next episode. But let's go here quickly. This is a little storage area. Uh, just in case I don't want to go all the way back to my house if I'm surviving. So little mini storage area, I guess. So might put some bedrooms there on the side. Right now, they have nothing uh, behind those doors. So just close that. I mean, it just looks so amazing. As you can see, there's the beach area. So the one pathway goes all the way over there. Um, I think I have a little hidden tree house, too. I have to find it. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> I hit it pretty well. I think it's in this forest over here, actually. Uh, I should recognize it if I'm flying. Yes, right here. All right, you can see the extra wood there. So if you jump down here, climb these ladders here, open the trap door, and it's a little mini... I guess living area if you want, if you're mining, surviving, whatever. So a little hidden mini foresty thing. If nighttime comes and mobs start coming out, you're nowhere near a house. Like, well, it's kind of close to a house. But if you're, you know, here, it's useful. And let's go back. Uh, huh. Don't really know. How the hell did you get here? Uh, I like the pathways being half slabs, I guess, because mobs can't spawn on the half slabs. So... That's why I have that here. How, so how the hell did that sheep get there? Anyway, here's a failed chicken coop thing. So I'm going to destroy this and make it into something else. Maybe just like a little hangout spot. But right now, it's not working out like I planned. I don't know how those chickens got out even. So yeah, that will be changed. And here's the my main mine, mining area. Uh, <laughs> back with Tongue Twister. So. Uh, let's go in here. This is the first one I built. Mining area I guess so a uh, nice little view there then storage and crafting areas over there and then a little minecart mini 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 very short coaster here and I don't, I don't know I just want to add something like this here so let's go in here and go all the way down this is my mining area down here if I survive so you, as you can see there are a whole bunch of doors here you can put your name on one of them and yeah start mining I guess which is really cool. So I think it's about, I don't know how many levels it is below, above bedrock. I'm not sure. Let's go back up. And yeah, it's a very short and sweet ride, but it does have, uh, as you can see on the right hand side, hold on, let me just get rid of this. Back, clear those out. As you can see, I have stairs here on the sides here, just in case, I don't know, for some reason, mine carts aren't there anymore. Uh, you can just walk up and down there, make it easier for you. And... Man, I'm just so happy with... This is exactly when I first started the Minecraft series. This is how I wanted this place to start looking like. And let's find that other underwater room, I guess. No, not this house. Which house is it? Nope. Uh, this one, right here. So this one has another underwater room. And I think this is the... I haven't done anything underneath it yet. There's just so much I have to do, guys. And another fridge, of course. But here's another one. And I think this one has a better view. Yeah, you can see more. Drummer's house over there, some more houses. And yeah, guys, do we have time? Yeah, we have time. Okay. I just didn't want to make this, you know, if I showed absolutely everything, I'm sure it would be like a two hour long video. That's including my hidden spots and trap doors and piston walls and all that. So, and here's another little, let's go back to the lake area, I guess, the main big lake. You can also go through this way to a dock here. And I might want to do a hidden room somewhere in here, but. Uh, let's go in there afterwards. There's that little mini storage room that we were at. Or was just that, whatever. I don't know. Live commentary. Don't need to restart it. Whatever. So, uh, next episode, I think I'll work in this area. But here, I just made a little snow golem jail thing. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool. And then this area, I have to get started working on. It's not much is going on here right now. But 
I don't know, it feels so isolated compared to everything else. And that tower over there is my mark for where I need to start building my wall, I guess. So it's not going to be my whole world. The wall is not going to go surround the whole world. So and I'm going to build up here. And yeah, that's pretty much it so far on the outside parts. I, of course, didn't show every single house, which would be absolutely crazy. But yeah, I mean, I love this world so far. It's looking so good, in my opinion, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, there's some few things I'll, of course, fix and all that, but, you know, still building, still having fun with the series. Uh, let's go into the Minecraft cliff thingy, because there's a little clever hidden chest thing. Uh, let's get rid of that. that. Uh, as you can see, there's a chest with lava down there. No ladder, no way, so... Uh, you have to get... If you want access to that chest, you have to use Ender Pearls. And I thought I was pretty clever with this. I'm sure someone's already done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you use Ender Pearls to get down here, get whatever you want, and... Yeah, now you're trapped if you don't have an inner pearl, especially if you're surviving. So, uh, just toss one back up and yada yada yada, you're back up here. Uh, let's just put these away. So that's why I have inner pearls for now in there. Uh, if I survive, I'm sure I'll you know I'll take them out or whatever. Let's just leave it like it that. So there's that little clever thing. Um, more houses over here, bridge. I mean this. I mean it just looks so cool in my opinion. I love what I've done so far, and I've had some help too. Not much help though, granted. And there's a little wheat farm. I might do another wheat farm somewhere closer or somewhere around here, so. Uh, yeah, let's. Do we have. Yeah, we have time. Let's go back into my main house for those of you who haven't seen what I've done. I highly recommend, though, guys, going through the adventure with me. It's awesome. You guys will see how my struggles. I remember that one episode where I was first learning how to use redstone wiring, and I was getting so, so angry. I just, it took me two episodes to make a fucking door, so, um, yeah, it's right here, this door right here, this simple door, it took me two episodes to learn how to do it and figure it out, and I didn't want to do any YouTube tutorials or any of that, so, I was stubborn, but, let's go to my wheat farm here, I'm not going to show everything, of course, because I've, what the hell, where did all my wheat go, anyway, pretend wheat has grown here, and you press this lever, and the thing comes out water and then watches it all the way towards you and then you can replant it yada 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 let's just plant this quickly but uh, money stacks helped me with this one so uh, he helped me build this I think he might have actually built it uh, this wheat farm for me so I, I'm, I can't, maybe next episode I'll build one or something like that I'm not sure yet but I don't want to show you know all the boring stuff in Minecraft anyway what do you guys want to see you guys want to see uh, I guess a preview of what I have done or do you like do you enjoy watching me build things? So leave me in the comment section below if uh, what you guys want to see there. So, um, what else should I show you quickly? Uh, cactus farm. I had a whole episode on this area, so go check that out. Um, down here is just a sugarcane and mom spawn farm, and let's enter my area. So here is my storage room, uh, the one everyone loves, and there's the pit that I ch just showed you. Uh, what you know. Uh, what it looks like so um, you guys wanted me to show you so if you guys again want a full-on tutorial I will show you that uh, over here is my crafting room and weapon storage ish room uh, cheap weapons that is and my potion room um, with the you know dispenser system here I just love that you press a button uh, which is on a which is on a block right in front of the dispenser and then the item in the dispenser will come out and right there and there's another one right there but um let's see i have a whole another episode showing my whole dispenser storage system so i i thought that was pretty cool uh, let's go over here because i was working on the room over here uh keep in mind guys everything that you see inside my house is pretty much built without before well it was built before creative mode came out for the xbox 360 so uh that it took me so long so uh, this hidden door is the levers hidden behind there, but since we're in creative mode, let's just go here This is why I did something simple. I didn't want it I was going to build an elevator here I was going to do something crazy here, but uh, that lever will close the door behind you. Let's just put the blocks back in Something simple why not old storage room looking thingy. Let's just keep it like that uh, Press the button here jump down um, Down here man. I remember when this area just completely looked different. Here's a tiny little hidden area nothing special if you guys want to see my truly well hidden stuff I guess uh, just click on some previous episodes but uh, let's go to the bar which is the man cave area here 
Uh, there's a lounge behind me, but here's the bar. Uh, we've already gone through this. Um, and the lounge is over there. It's not too excited. It's just a lounge. Whatever. Couches, tables, all that. Um, let's just put this back away. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Door hasn't been closed. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, let's see. Man, this episode's so fucking long. <laughs> let's go back upstairs. Um, let's go to one of the first things I built in my house. The lava sauna. I was so happy when I did this. And I, I had such a hard time, too, because... Uh, let's open this secret door, but... Um, I mean, you know, I was doing it without creative mode, so it was a pain. And then there's another hidden area in this hidden crafting room right here. Just some hidden chests here. Why not? With some special stuff. Close it. And, yeah. There we go. <laughs> um, and it's just, you know, your standard hidden behind a painting room. So it's not truly hidden. And, you know... Once you go through a pain, you'll be like, okay, there's some way I can open this. What the hell? There we go. And another little, yeah, see right there. But here's a little lounge hangout area. There's a lava that was a pain to do. Oh, I remember the hours of frustration there trying to build this sauna area. God, that was such a long time ago. Um, So I got rid of the lawn tunnel that was hidden behind here. So if you pull this lever here. Now it's just a little storage chest thing plus a jail, actually, so... I'm going to see if mobs spawn here, maybe. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I was hoping to find a mob spawner somewhere around here, but sadly, I, I dug all behind these walls. It's a lot of digging, and I didn't find anything, so... Um, let's just put that away. Uh, I need to go to nether again, actually. I should start building in a nether again. Uh, but actually, I want to do this first. But here's my kitchen area. I'm working for a yada, yada, yada. My first room... But now it's the guest room. It was Fernie's room. Man, I mean, so much has happened in this world. I I mean, it's insane, the adventure that I've been on in this world. And there's the storage room underneath. But here's my enchantment room. Uh, it has different levels of enchanting. Of course, you can get medium enchantments there. Nothing there. You got low level here. Um, there was, a, I got this from a YouTube tutorial. I think I, in the video when I built this, in my adventure, I linked the video there, so... And in the playlist, the titles will be there, what I do. Here's my bathroom. Did it all with iron blocks and slabs here. And there's the shower. Close the shower door. Turn on the water. There we go. I had to redo this because in the update a while back, uh, redstone wasn't allowed to be used on top of glowstone. There's my toilet. Uh, so I had to redo that. Um, what else should I show you? Nah, standard dining room. Yada, yada, yada little patterns there let's go to my room why not and here's my one block storage room guys with the dispensers over there in this area um let's see and know what if you guys want to check that video out check the playlist <laughs> and here is my room with the awesome creeper rug and my puppy uh rick so um and i have two hidden things here so if you guys want to check that out of course it's been in previous video videos I just don't want to show absolutely everything in this video or else it would, like I said, would be way too long and my throat is already hurting because I've been talking for so long it feels like. Storage room down there. So yeah, that's my area guys. Uh, brief. Honestly, brief. <laughs> I know it feels long if you've stayed through the whole video so far, but it's brief what's in my world. So there's just so much crap here. So here is that. Close that door. Money Sex is there, is there, but he hasn't played in this world forever. Uh, Frank is actually building something here. Here's my hidden staircase here. Not really hidden, but uh, entrance to my basement. Let's watch this. Watch it lag. It's gonna lag. Oh no, it wasn't that bad. So yeah, guys, there is my Minecraft world uh, so far. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will continue building. Like I said, leave me in the comment section below if you guys want to see me build. Or give you guys a preview of what I have been building. Or have built, sorry. So, yeah. my Oh my god, this world looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy. It turned out exactly what I wanted it to. In the beginning, in episode 1, I said I want an Asian-themed world. And look what I've done. This is incredible. And I know vines aren't really... I don't know if they're asian -y or not, but it's more jungle-themed there. But I, I just like the looks of vines, I guess. So guys, hope you enjoyed this long-ass preview episode 
I had fun doing it. I'm still having fun in this world. So, also, guys, if you want to see, I guess, a survival world with me and some subscribers, check that out. Here's a little brief preview of Drummer's World. We went through his whole house uh, in the episode featuring RC Drummer. Uh, hit him up on Twitter, guys. Tell him Panda said hello. So, I'll link his Twitter in the description of this video, too. And, yeah. Wow. Dude, this whole area just looks so fucking phenomenal. I'm so happy with it. So far, so good. And then I have to build this lawn ass bridge, which is going to be a pain. So, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. And, yeah, guys, hit me up on social networking sites. Links in the description. I'm out. Take care. Love you all. Peace.